when Moses asked for God's name, he says, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. It's me. <laughs> I promised I would come save you. And here I am. That's not just a name. That is a promise. It is a covenant. And it, it resonates at the very foundations of the nation of Israel, because in that moment, the Bible shifts from being descriptive of a personal relationship with God to a national relationship with God. And it gets it gets a lot more interesting. Stay with me. And so the next natural question is, well, why? Right. Like why this sudden change? What's what's happened here and why has this nation been the one that was that was chosen like uh, out of everyone else? See, what you have to understand is that the Bible is interested in teaching us wisdom. It's it's what we need to understand about God in order to properly relate to him. And our relationship with God is a personal one that calls us to deny ourselves, to pick up our cross. And it is a spiritual battle because our nature is at war with the divine. To, to, to subject ourselves to God's will is a challenge that has to be embraced. It's a fight that we have to engage in. It's not a passive acceptance. It's a violent encounter. Becoming Christ-like, walking in the footsteps of Jesus is difficult. It's hard. It's painful. You are wrestling with God. Your nature, who you are, the corruption of your flesh is constantly wrestling with Jesus, with the divine. And it's a process that you have to go through. It's, it's, it hurts. It's, it's difficult. There's no way around it. But through that struggle, by willingly engaging in that challenge, God is able to do miraculous things in your heart and your life. He is able to change you in profound ways that you could never even express and you could never get to on your own. It's very profound that Jacob wrestled with God because the nation of Israel would continue to do the same. But what's interesting is that this shared unity of common ancestry and collective suffering bonded the Hebrews together in a way that's just not like anything else that we have. In this light, the transition from a personal to a national relationship with God can be seen as a perfect reflection of human nature because it, it takes a nation, right, and it compresses it into what is now the archetypal framework of humankind because they're a multitude, but they're also brought together under a very highly pressurized circumstance like a diamond. And in, in this light, we can see that the nation of Israel is literally the perfect mirror into our own individual nature.